I think fireworks have, for the longest, actually stressed out veterans, specifically combat veterans who have seen absolutely horrific things, okay? Like those who are still suffering from PTSD, uh, those who um, honestly have done the most for our nation. Uh, you know, listen, so does it, does it surprise me that there are a lot of, um, like, cities and and places specifically that are looking to kind of do away with the concept of fireworks in, in the middle of the night because it doesn't surprise me. Um, but I don't think that it's purely the, ooh, that's the reason, right? I don't think that exclusively it's because, you know, combat veterans are in the area and maybe we should not do anything to like trigger these individuals, right? It's about, it's about cost. Fireworks are very expensive. And imagine if you had to just basically um, purchase the drones one time or hire a um a company that that can throw a thousand drones into the air and create designs and things like that right um i think with technology uh comes great ways to kind of use them um, but i do think that uh the moving over to the drone technology instead of fireworks specifically um would be really cool and uh also at the same time be able to actually uh, benefit some of the veterans that are actually um, suffering specifically on these days. Like the ones who have to hide basically in the basement, right? Uh, with like like gun headphones on, okay? Um, but all right, let's go ahead and check this out immediately. Uh, the name of the video is uh, More Cities Are Switching uh, to July 4th Drone Shows Over Fireworks. This is a suggestion via Discord. Let's check it out. Drone shows are sweeping the country and challenging long-held traditions of fireworks on the 4th of July. There are several reasons cities are opting for drone shows instead. Cost for one, safety Cost, another. Definitely. With us now, president of Sky Elements Drone Shows, Rick Boss. Uh, good morning to you. Happy 4th. You have seen a 60% rise in business in the last year. Safe to say business for you guys is booming. It's definitely that's not really a good joke. I want to go ahead and point that out. That was a terrible joke. Nothing's really booming here. I mean, I get it. It's a double entendre. She's like, oh, it's booming as in like firework boom. But that's a bad joke. These are drones. They don't, they don't boom. Thanks for having us on and happy Independence Day. <laughs> yes, you as well. So I'm curious. It's been a couple of years since I saw my first drone show and my immediately thought was, how are they doing this? Um, take yeah, us behind the it's, scenes, it's the technical aspect of what's going on to create these beautiful shows. Thousands of drones. For sure. Works. It's a lot of work that happens. And what folks might not understand is most of the work happens before we ever show up. Our programmers spend hundreds of hours animating, programming all the drones to make sure they perform just we'd like to see them, making the shapes, making the American flag. So a lot of work goes on beforehand, working with our clients, the imagery that they'd like, the story that they're telling. And then we come out the day of, set up all the drones, make sure everything's safe for everyone. We send them up into the sky. So um, we're looking at some incredible video here. How many drones are we talking about to Thousand. put on a show like this? Two thousand. Yeah, so our shows range from 100 drones for smaller communities to some of the images you're seeing there are 1,600 drones making that flag. So our average show is about 300 drones right now, and that's up from years past. So we get larger and larger drone shows for our community shows. So, yeah, this 4th of July, we have shows ranging from 100 drones to 500 drones. Logistically, how are they being operated and, and told what to do and not one to run into one on another? A computer. Yeah, some people think we've got uh, 500 pilots flying no, it's on one the person. drones, <laughs> but we don't. We've got one pilot in command yeah. that is making sure everything is safe and the computer is flying the drones and we're yeah. making sure everything's operating safe. They are tiny little robots, so occasionally they decide they Not don't function. want to work that day, so the pilot's there to make sure everything stays safe. And guys, I want to point out something really quickly that, that, that they kind of seem to be missing. They're kind of um, dumbing the, the actual uh, technological marvel this is down. They're dumbing it down a little bit, but here's the thing: um, yeah, these drones are all are all handmade, right? Uh, with parts you can find on the internet, and they're putting them all together. There's one person doing it. Um, he's saying that hundreds of hours go into creating some of the designs. Absolutely, right? But then the designs kind of become a preset. So, a person that is looking to actually do something like this for an event, uh, you're hiring them. They're not actually spending hundreds of hours doing this here. 
All right. They did that one time and you're going to go through like a catalog and things like that. You can pick kind of what you want. They know the, the, the code, basically. Uh, then they input the code into their computer and then this happens here. Um, so it's absolutely a technological marvel, but hundreds of hours are not going into um, every single project. I think he's just trying to justify the actual cost of it. Right. But either way, I mentioned it's less expensive than a traditional fireworks show. How much yeah. does it cost on average to put these shows together? Yeah, well, uh, right now it's about the same price as fireworks. Historically, it's been more expensive than fireworks, but the price is getting to about even with fireworks right now. Um, but some communities, it's a matter of just adding something that uh, adds interest to it. As you can see in some of the imagery there, we've got pyrotechnics going off at the same time with the drone shows. And now, after 24 months of work, we've gotten FAA approval to have fireworks off of the drones. So we had several shows yesterday that had fireworks coming off of the drones in addition to what was happening on the ground. Oh, That's worlds cool. collide. I think that would be really cool to see. Um, Rick, this is so much, and you mentioned the storytelling element to it. Um, how important is that to you all to tell a great story, make it interesting and entertaining? And do you have a favorite so far that you all have created? The story is so important. It's one of the major aspects of drone shows is that we can tell a community story. We can tell the story of whatever the event might be. And certainly for Independence Day, the story of the world is independence here in the United States. My favorite show was actually last year. Some of the images are coming up on the screen. Our 4th of July show that we did last year with a thousand drones that broke a Guinness record. Amazing show. We got Washington going across the Delaware. Just a great story. I love that one. And then you you couple this with music, right? I mean, because we're used yep. to the loud bangs of fireworks. How does mu music accompany the lights in the sky? And sound effects. Absolutely. We need music to go along with it. The drones are virtually silent. They make noise, but it's not a lot. Right. And so to have a great music score to go along with it, just to help tie in the emotion and bring the energy to it, it's, they complement each other perfectly. Probably 95% uh, of our shows, we have a music score that our team works with the client to make sure we've got something impactful that everybody will enjoy. Well, props to your entire team, especially that drone operator. I can't imagine thousands of drones and you're responsible for making sure they all uh, dance together across the night sky. Rick Voss, uh, to you and your team, have a happy, safe 4th of July. Thanks for taking us behind the scenes. Guys, you'll be so surprised like how easy it actually is to do this here. Uh, the drone operator is basically there just pushing a button. I mean, I'm, she's shocked and amazed maybe because she may not just fully grasp the the simplicity of actually what's happening here. Um, the real work was behind the scenes, unless he's the one who programmed everything. This man is pushing like three buttons. Go through stage or, or scene one, scene two, scene three. It may even be automated. Um, I think the, the biggest thing for him would probably be setting up and making sure all the drones are, are, are kind of lined up on the ground, measured perfectly between each other, that type of thing, right? That's the the big deal, right, I'd say. But um, I do wish that we were to move over to uh, some type of drone firework thing, guys. It would be great. Um, my only encounter with, with this was in uh, Barcelona, Spain, um, and it was an amazing, um, absolutely amazing sight, guys. I'm telling you, this is... This is the way things need to end up moving, guys. Again, we're going forward in technology. Let's continue that path in, in almost every genre, let's say. Right? But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>